hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to make an animated pagination links for website using html css and javascript here on this website you can see some numbers and two links which is next and previous link when we click on any number that becomes active with background color and that background color comes with beautiful animation if I click on number 1, you can see the background color in number 1. If I click on number 4, you can see the color in number 4. We can also click on next and previous link to change the active number. If we click on the next link, it will add the active color in the next number. And if I click on the previous link, it will add the active color in the previous number. We will make this pagination design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and one icon which is arrow.png. You can find this image download link in the video description. Now let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the css file in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file now we will add code in the body tag so here in this body we will add one div with the class name container next we will add the css for this container so write this class name here in this css file for this container we have to set the width and height then we will add the background here we will add linear gradient and two color code Let's add the angle 45 degree, then first color code and the second color code. After that, we will add display flex, align item center and justify content center so that all the content inside this container will be in the center. Now let me open this file with the web browser so you can see this gradient color on the complete web page. Now just come back and within this container, we will add one div with the class name pagination inside this div let's add one button and we will add the class name btn1 and inside this button we will add the text it is prev which is previous let's duplicate it and change the text next so we have two button within this button we will add ul and li in this li we will add one class name link in this list we will add the value one and text 1. Let's duplicate it and change the value and text. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the text also 1 to 6. After adding this come back to the website. You can see the previous and next button and these list from 1 to 6. Next we have to align it horizontally so just come back and write this class name pagination in the CSS file. For this pagination we will add display flex then align item center. Here we will add the background white and we will add the color code that will be the text color then we will add the space inside this box and border radius to make the corners round so it looks like this next we have to align the list horizontally so just come back you can see we have ul and li so in this css file we will add ul we will add some space for this ul then again write ul and li so for this list we will add display it will be inline block then we need a space from left and right side then we will add the background and we will add width and height it will be 45 pixel then we will add border radius 50 percent so that it will be a circle then text align center and font size then we will add the font weight and Let's add the line height, then cursor pointer. After that you can see everything in the same horizontal line and these numbers looks good. Next we will design the next and previous button. So just come back and here we have the class name btn1 and btn2 for the second one. Just come back and here we will add dot btn1 comma dot btn2 for both button we will add display. It will be inline flex and we will add align item center then font size 22 pixel and we will add font weight 
then let's change the color and we will add the background transparent outline none and border also none then cursor will be pointer you can see the increased size for this link text which is next and previous let's come back and in the first button before this text we will add one image and in this image we will add the arrow.png now just copy this one and we will add the same arrow in the second button after the text like this now you can see these icons on the web page so we have to set the size for these icons so write this class name here btn1 and img for the first button we will add width 24 pixel and margin from the right side now duplicate this one and we will add btn2 for the second button here also it will be same but we will add margin left side now you can see the size for the icon is good next we have to rotate the second icon so in the second btn img we will add transform rotate 180 degree now you can see the perfect direction for the second arrow next we have to add the color in the first one that will look like an active link so in the first list we will add one more class name which is active next we have to add the css for this active class write this class name here in the css file come back to the css file here we will add ulli.active for this list we will add active class and in this active class we will add different color it is white then we will change the background color so here we will add background img linear gradient and this color code here we are adding color through linear gradient because we have to animate the background then we will add background repeat no repeat now just come back to the web page again you can see this color in the first link next we will remove the color for the other links so just come back and remove this line save the changes and come back to the web page again you can see other links looks simple there is no background color next we have to change this active class whenever we will click on another link so just come back in this html file just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag and within this script let's add one variable so we will add let link equal to document dot get elements by class name and write this class name link right now we have the active class in the first one so here we will add one variable called current value equal to one because we have added the active class in the first one now here we will create one function with active link within this function we will add for l of link then write l dot class list dot remove active so whenever this function will be called it will execute this for loop and here we have the l of link it means for each link it will remove that active class name l dot class list dot remove active it will remove that active class name from all the list now we have to call this function so we will add on click equal to active link here and we will add the same thing in the other list also so we will click on any number it will run this function after adding this come back to the website and if we click on any number that color is disappearing and there is no active class name so now we have to add that active class name on the particular link where we have clicked so for that here we will add event dot target dot class list dot add and the class name active so whenever we will click on any number it will add that active class name in that number and now we will update this current value current value will become event dot target dot value because we have added the value in all the list so now this current value will have the information which number is active now if i click on the second number it will become active if i click on three four five you can see this color is changing 
so this is how this number click is working fine next we have to add the click function on the next and previous link so just come back and in this next button we will add on click equal to back btn and in the second button we will add on click equal to next btn it will be the function next btn and back btn next we have to define these functions so just come back in this script tag and after this function we will create another function and write back btn in this one here we will add if condition whenever we will click on the back button it will check one condition current value is greater than one if it is greater than one then it will remove the active class name from all the list so just copy and paste it from the above code this for loop will remove the active class name from all the list now you can see if i click on previous button it will remove this color now five number is active and if i click on the previous you can see there is no active link so now come back and here we have to update this current value whenever we will click on the back button it will reduce the value of current value so here we will add current value minus minus it will decrease by one now write this link and here we will add current value minus one because the index starts from zero and if the value is one then index will be zero if the value is two index will be one that's why i'm adding minus one so in this one we will add dot class list dot add and here we will add the class name called active after adding this it will add the active class name in the previous number so just come back to the website and right now if the six number is active and click here it will change this active class name from six to five four three two one like that and after coming to the one it will perform nothing because we have added one if condition now just come back and duplicate this function and here we will change the function name next vtn so in the next one there will be change in this if condition it will run this function whenever the current value is less than six because we have total six links and in this current value we will add plus plus so it will increase the value because we are clicking on the next button after that come back to the website and you can see if i click on the next button this active link is moving from one to six this next button and previous button is working fine and this number click is also working fine next we have to add the animation this color will move with some animation so just come back to the css file and here we will add background position 0 and minus 45 pixel and we will add the transition background position 0 0.5 seconds so it will take 0.5 seconds to change the background position now in this active class name here we will add background position 0 and 0 that's it after that again come back to the website if i click on any number this color is changing with smooth transition and if we click on the next or previous link then also this color is changing with some animation so finally we have completed this pagination using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video